whole point of a warm-up is you're supposed to start slow and gradually get to a more intense exercise. We're doing dynamic movements, so all of these are moving. We're going to start with arm circles. You're going to do five forward, five backwards, other side. You want to wake up your joints, ligaments, muscles, get the blood flowing. Back and forth, five, switching your hands over, bring your knee into your chest, do five on each side, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, grab your back ankle, Stretch out your quad. You want to make sure that you're grabbing your actual ankle and not your toe. So this is stretching out your quad, same thing. You're going to do 10 total, five on each side. Already lost count. Next we're going to do what's called an inchworm. So if you can, keep your legs as straight as possible if you have the flexibility. If not, all you're going to do is bend your knees for your hands to touch. You're walking yourself out into a plank, walking yourself back up, getting that stretch in your hamstring. So if you have a flexibility there, keep your legs straight. If not, it's okay. Bend your knees as you come down. Same thing, you're doing five reps. So with the warm up, your heart rate should be starting to go up. You want to remember to go nice and slow and remember this is a warm-up not the workout so you want to take your time make sure you're getting stretches next we're going to go into the inform again as you come into a plank you're going to bring your foot to your ankle as far as you can you should feel a stretch in your hip hamstring stretch right here Turning up to the sky, facing this bent knee, back down, switching sides, stretch, up to the sky, back into a plank, walking yourself back up. Same thing, we're doing five. Plank, bring your foot up as far as you can. If you need to drop your back knee, drop your back knee. Twist, drop your back knee if you need to. And you don't need to go too far, you're just going until you're right in line with your hand that's on the ground. I'm going to breathe out. It's not a race. You should feel a lot of stretching. Muscles are getting warmed up. I'm already breaking a little sweat. Heart rate is up. Breathe out. If you are a little bit more tight, you may just want to stay in this spot for a few more seconds. The warm-up is really whatever you need to get your body ready. Okay, next we're going to drop down to our knees. What you're going to do is you're going to be in a push-up position. Hips are forward, core is tight. You're doing a push-up back into a child's pose. You're going to do 10 of these. Two, push-up, child's pose. Get a nice stretch in. Three, child's pose. This is warming up your core. Arms, shoulders, back. Remember to take your time. Stretch and stay in a position when you need it. All right, then you can go back to your feet. Get another stretch in your hamstrings. Walk it out. 
walk yourself back to your feet get back on the mat. Next we're going to do a squat with a stretch hold at the bottom. So feet are pointed out. You're going to go down into a squat. You're going to use your elbows to get a nice stretch. You can rock back and forth. Feel the stretch. Same thing. You're going to do 10 reps. So warming up is so important. I have all my clients warm up even if we're limited on time, because if you don't warm up, and you go right into the intense exercise workout, it could result in injury. Remember to breathe out. If you need to stay at the bottom a little bit longer, stay at the bottom. One more. Alright, next we're going to be on our hands and knees, we're going to do the cat cow, so you're going to look up and then bring your chin to your chest, arch your back, three, four, remember to breathe out, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to stay right where you are. You're just going to lightly put your hand behind your ear. We're going to work on your spine. You're going to go down to your wrist. Come up as far as you can. Three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're flipping back over. You're gonna make some room. Your feet are gonna be out wide. What you're gonna do is a push-up. One side, you can let your feet fall over. Other side, two. Great, you're going to do 20, 10 on each side. You should feel a stretch in your hamstring. I'm going to breathe out. Remember, this is a dynamic movement. You are moving with a stretch. You're not just in a static stretch where you are such as touching your toes and holding that for 30 seconds. All right, then we're going to be back into a plank. You're going to do plank pike ups. So butt's going to come to the ceiling. Back to a plank. You want to remember to keep your core tight. You're going to do 10 to 15 of these. So depending on where you are, I'm only going to do 10 for sake of the video and time. Core is always tight. Okay. And then the last thing you're going to do is a squat. And you're going to go up on your tippy toes. So you're squatting down. As you come up, you're going up on your tippy toes to fire those ankles, calves. Again, you're going to do 10. Nine, 10. All right, so that is the full body dynamic warm up. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you want me to do a warm up for a more cardio or high intensity workout, that would be in a whole nother warm up. This is specifically for strength. So leave a comment below, read the blog post, and let me know what you think.